can I ask a, an, or maybe not an opposing viewpoint? I actually, I agree with everything you're saying and I agree with hol holistic leadership. I've been in those leadership roles and just had a natural tendency to really care for the people that I was entrusted to managing with. But I know you deal with all kinds of different leaders. So playing devil's advocate, what do you say to the leader that says, okay, now I have 50 employees. And now I have to be aware of them generally, generationally. I have to be aware of them personally. I have to be aware of whether they're an introvert or not. How do, what kind of time do they prefer? What do they want a flexible schedule? This person is struggling with some, this personal thing. What do you say to the leader that says, I can't intersect all these different ways to categorize someone for lack of a better word and do that 50 times? Of course. Thank you, Barb. That's a great, that's a great thing to call out. And also remember that leaders come in all different shapes and sizes and experience levels too. So a new leader can do is going to be way different than someone who's been holistically leading for 20, 30 years. It's different. And what I say to anyone who feels overwhelmed is take a deep breath first and then pick small pieces. So you can always work your way up to the big picture, but start somewhere that's something easy for you. So maybe your first baby step could be ask more questions. Ask the people who say hello to you in the morning. Ask them how their weekend was. Ask, just start somewhere. So maybe it's taking 20 minutes in the morning on Monday and taking a lap and saying hello. Maybe it's that simple. It's something small. And if you're putting effort in, if you're trying, people can recognize that. And so you have 60 people on your team. You don't know how to analyze and assess what every single person needs. But if you take 20 minutes in Monday morning to say hello, I bet some of those 60 people are going to recognize that and say, oh, my leader took some interest in me today. Mm -hmm. And then maybe if something came up, they might swing by your office later and say, hey, you know how I mentioned X, Y, and Z this weekend? It's really bothering me. Or yeah. baby steps, start somewhere. That's that great advice. Great advice. Yeah. yeah, it really is. It really is. The bottom line is start small if you have to by saying good morning. It's good. 